We have a change in the program. We're adapting slightly steep third with Noah since his regrets. He's not able to be here for reasons you all understand. But we have uh, in place of, of Steve, of Lieutenant Colonel Dolly from our Philadelphia district who's going to talk about what they're doing in Philadelphia district and including in collaboration with Noah. Great to have you here. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Bridges and our partners here and the stakeholders today um, for giving me the opportunity to be able to come and talk about how being in uh, engineering with nature, proving ground, has, has benefited the district. Um, when I first took command of the Philadelphia district 18 months ago, I told the team that I was addressing that I was excited to learn about the core because this was going to be my first opportunity to work with the core and the district and all the things that we do there. The Engineering with Nature program is very exciting, so that keeps me on the level um, of that excitement. And it's been awesome to be able to work with this program because it's helped us in a number of ways. One specifically is, is becoming better at partnering. Uh, for a little bit of a background, after Hurricane Sandy, our district worked with the partners and applied engineering with nature principles on several uh, pilot projects. We had a mission to clear shoals from the New Jersey Intercoastal Waterway for maritime navigation. We worked with the partners such as the Fish and Wildlife Service and NOAA, as well as USACE's research and development community to dredge the channel. But instead of just disposing of the material in the channel, we then used the sediment to restore marsh and create habitat. So it's like project number one for us. Um, our district has since then constructed multiple projects and become an engineering with proving ground. Um, so what does that mean to me? Um, pretty much it means that I believe that we are taking extra steps to find opportunities to maximize the value in collaboration with our partners. Engineering with Nature provides a foundation, a framework for science-based decision making, and we've been fortunate enough to have ERDIC and Engineering with Nature technical experts supporting us as we move forward to build projects on the ground. Um, and I'll tell you, seeing is believing. Um, one of my project managers, uh, Monica Chasen, who's here today, has pulled me out onto the shore, off the shore, onto islands. And it's a little bit like well, listening to my son talk about his, his games. The, the scientists that were out there were so excited about how the islands that we had created we're working in and whether or not we were doing it correctly. But that's why it's it's a work in progress. And I think it's awesome that we're moving forward and we're becoming slightly less risk averse. And, and I'm excited that the partners are being less risk, risk adverse and that we're being able to move forward and um, have more opportunities firsthand. We're getting more and more requests to do uh, engineering with nature-based projects and I'm looking forward to being able to do more in the future. In the Atlas, you'll see that um, we've got our Mordecai Island project where we beneficially placed dredge material to restore the most um, vulnerable portion of a 45 acre island. Mordecai Island serves two purposes. First of all, it provides critical habitat for a variety of species. And then second of all, it provides protection for the Back Bay community on Long Beach Island. Um, it's a proverbial speed bump, if you will. And so right now, ERDIC and NOAA, uh, National Center for Coastal Ocean Science, Science, yep, is partnering with us to monitor the Mordecai Island to prove that you know the speed bump theory is correct. And we've got studies that the Philadelphia district is, is moving forward with in the New Jersey back bays, and if uh, we have the data behind that theory, we'll be able to continue doing engineering with nature in, in the inland um, back bay area. So we're not only working um, along the coastline, but we're trying to incorporate these same theories in our inland studies, where we have our five um, risk management dams in Pennsylvania. So it's, it's better not just doing concrete and having something really nice and awesome to look at. Communities are sometimes worried um, now that we've made these islands that we're going to disturb the birds, but I think we're continuing to work with the community and New Jersey specifically to incorporate more 
engineering with nature-based practices. And we're learning from our national and international colleagues. Um, for example, the Dutch concepts of the living laboratory. Um, we talked about it just this fall, and we are now going to create one for the Seven Mile Island in New Jersey. And uh, we hope to be able to implement practices that use natural systems and processes to maximize the benefits we're seeing on those islands. The Philadelphia district um, is not alone. It is, it's clear that we would not be able to do any of these projects, properly monitor them, uh, without our partners. We've worked extensively with the federal state and state agencies and nonprofits such as the Nature Conservatory, academia, and private industry. We are now establishing an agency working group with the National Marine Fisheries Service and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service that allows our staffs to be able to collaborate. And I'd like to um, say without these opportunities, we wouldn't, wouldn't be able to move forward with engineering with nature. You can't do it alone. So um, right here, we've got one of our, our partners with Bill Dixon in the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection. And I'd like to thank him for coming out here and being in supportive of the district. Uh, the, new, the NJDEP has been a reliable partner, continues to be a reliable partner, but I think with the success of the Mordecai project, they are less risk adverse and are allowing us to move forward with a lot more projects along the New Jersey coastline, which will benefit both, both our partners. <coughs> Moving forward, we plan to build on the success of these projects and incorporate all the lessons we're learning uh, nationally and internationally that are in the atlas and uh, we just need to continue to champion innovation innovative projects and become le less risk adverse and of course I want to promote the continuous collaboration because we can't do it alone and it's been an honor to be here with the partners I'm excited and continue to be excited about those projects on the shore and I look forward to <coughs> the future projects thank you